Are you having trouble updating your Helix 5 or 7 unit with the 2018 September update? Well, I did too, and we're talking about it next. If you're in this video, you've already exhausted every option when it comes to updating your Helix 5 or 7 unit. I believe this trick will work for all updates across the board with the Hummingbird units, Solix, Onyx, Helix 9, 10, and 12. Uh, I have not tested it with any of those except the Helix 5, but it worked with this, and I think if you run into the same issue with any Helix product, this should work. So let's jump right into it. Alrighty guys, at this point you've already downloaded the correct information from the Hummingbird website onto your computer, whether it's the update or the base maps update. Uh, I This unit needed both updates, and in order to do both updates, you need to update the software first, then the base maps. I would recommend doing them both separate, just so it's a little less confusing uh, process for you. What you're going to want to do is we're going to format the SD card correctly first. A lot of people don't format it in the correct file format. What we're going to want to do is go into our libraries here and go to our side menu onto the SD drive. Mine's titled Untitled, like most of them are. Otherwise, if you've renamed it, that's the name of it. Right click your SD card and you're going to want to go to Format. Now, up here in the file system, generally, for some reason, unless you've manually changed it, it'll be an XFAT or NTFS. Uh, if you've tried exporting or formatting your SD card in those, the Hummingbird will not read it. It has to be done in FAT32, the default. Uh, that's, that's what solved my entire problem, was formatting it in a different file format. Uh, or a different file system format, yeah. So, we're going to format the card. Yes, you want, and formatting erases everything on the card, which is good. Uh, we're going to e erase the card and restore its default. Uh, format complete, yes, yes, yes. Now we're going to go into our base map or our Hummingbird update, and we're going to transfer the files over. Now, it's very important that we do not uh, copy and paste or click and drag. I don't know why. This is what Hummingbird uh, customer support told me. Use the send to method. All you have to do is right click on the file and use the send to, okay? And we're gonna send it to the SD card, untitled E. Uh, it's in essence the same thing as copying, pasting, or clicking and dragging. I don't know why that doesn't work, um, but the send to method does work. So as long as you format it in the correct default format and then use the send to method, that should solve your problems, guys. Uh, I know it solved mine. I it, it took me two days of troubleshooting this to figure it out. Uh, and I had the wrong format, and I was not using the send to method, and I used it first try on both. So, hope this video helps you guys. Uh, I know it was a real big problem with me, and I hope this video could bring some value to you guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop down, leave a comment if this video helped you, or if you have a different method, or if this method just did not help you at all, let me know, and we can all troubleshoot your problems down in the comments, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you in the next one.